Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn and write third class Mass Magic Workbook Semester 2 Chapter. Let's share. Worksheet number 13. Subtopic Division Vocabulary. Divide and find the quotient and reminder and write division vocabulary. One is done for you. Yes, first question. 54 divided by 6. Here, division start from highest place value number. Here it is 5. 5 is less than 6. So, we have to take 6 zeros are 0. So, 0 write in questions place and 0 write under 5. Subtract 0 from 5, we get 5. Next, to carry down 4 from 1's place. It becomes 54. 54 divides 6 for 9 times. So, 6 nines are 54. Subtract 54 for 54. We get 0 remainder. Here, dividend is 54. Divisor is 6. Quotient is 9 and remainder is 0. Next question 14 divided by 3. So here division starts from highest place value. Here it is 1. So 1 is less than 3. So we have to take 3 zeros are 0. So 0 writes in quotient place and 0 write and under 1. Subtract 0 from 1 we get 1. And carry down 4 from 1's place. It becomes 14. So uh, where is the 14 here? 3 double. There is no 14, so we have to take 3 4s are 12. So 4 write in questions place and 12 write under 14. Subtract 12 from 14, we get 2. So here dividend is 14, divisor is 3, quotient is 4, remainder is 2. Next question 28 divided by 4. Here also division start from highest place value number. Here it is 2, 2 is less than 4. So, we have to take 4 zeros are 0. So, 0 write questions place and 0 write under 2. Subtract 0 from 2, we get 2 and carry down 8 from 1's place. It becomes 28 in 4th table. Where is the 28? So, 4 7s are 28. So, we have to write 7 in questions place and 28 write under 28. Subtract 28 from 28, we get 0. Here 28 is dividend, divisor is 4, quotient is 7 and remainder is 0. Next fourth question 38 divided by 9. Here we after division, dividend is 38, divisor is 9, quotient is 4, remainder is 2. Next question 45 divided by 8. After the division we get Dividend is 45, divisor is 8, quotient is 5 and remainder is 5. Next, 67 divided by 7. After the division, we get here dividend is 67, divisor is 7. After the division, quotient is 9, remainder is 4. Next question, 71 divided by 6. Here, dividend is 71. Divisor is 6. After the division, we get quotient 11 and remainder is 5. Next question, 85 divided by 8. Here dividend is 85. Divisor is 8. After the division, we get quotient is 10 and remainder is 5. Next to 97 divided by 9. Here dividend is 97. Divisor is 9. After the division, quotient is 10 and remainder is 7. Next worksheet number 14. Subtopic finding odd or even. First question, identify whether the following numbers are even or odd. One is done for you. Here, we have to remember that any number can be divided exactly by 2 is called an even number. So, here 156 is divided exactly by 2. Therefore, 156 is an even number. Next to be 208 is exactly divided by 2. So, 208 is an even number. 
Next to see when we divide 364 with 2 we get remainder 0. So 364 is exactly divided by 2. Therefore 364 is an even number. Next to D 441. Here when we divide 441 with 2 we get remainder 1. So here we have to remember that any number cannot be divided exactly by 2 is called an odd number. So 441 is an odd number. Next E 513. When we divide 513 with 2 we get remainder 1. So 513 is an odd number. Next F. Here when we divide 637 with 2 we get remainder 1. So 637 is an odd number. Next worksheet number 15. Subtopic odd and even numbers. First question. Write the even numbers between 50 to 100. So these are even numbers. Next question. Write the odd numbers between 100 to 150. So these are odd numbers between 100 to 150. Next question. Classify the following as even and odd numbers. Here which numbers are circle are even numbers. Remaining numbers are odd numbers. Next question. Write the next even number for the following. A. 78. The next even number is 80. B. 60. The next even number is 62. C. 62. The next even number is 64. D. 94. Next even number is 96. Next question. Write the next odd number for the following. A. 65. Next odd number is 67. B. 89. Next odd number is 91. C. 71. Next odd number is 73. D. 83. Next odd number is 85. Next worksheet number 16. Subtopic odd and even numbers. First question. If 96 balloons are equally distributed among 6 children, how many balloons will each child get? How many balloons are equally distributed? 96 balloons. How many children shared the balloons? 6 children. Which operation should be used to find number of balloons each will get? We should follow the operation of division. Next, estimate that how many balloons will each child get? Each child will get 16 balloons. Next question. A hotel has 7 rooms of equal capacity. A maximum of 28 persons can stay in the hotel. How many persons can stay in one room? Number of rooms in the hotel. That is equal to 7. Maximum capacity of 7 rooms. That is equal to 28. Number of persons can stay in each room. That is equal to 28 divided by 7. So that equal to 4 members can stay in one room. Next question. There are 54 gulab jamuns in a vessel. These are to be distributed equally among 9 girls. How many gulab jamuns should each girl get? Total number of gulab jamuns. 54. Total number of girls shared. 9 girls shared. Number of gulab jamuns each one gets. 54 divided by 9. That equal to 6 gulab jamuns each one gets. Next question. If 81 kites are equally distributed among 9 children, how many kites will each child get? Here total number of kites that equal to 81. Total number of children that equal to 9. Number of kites each one gets that equal to 81 divided by 9 that equal to 9 kites. Next worksheet number 17. Subtopic division practicing word problems. First question. 5 guvas cost is 30 rupees. How much does each guva cost? Cost of 5 guvas that equal to 30 rupees. Number of guvas 5. Cost of 1 guvas that equal to 
30 rupees divided by 5 guvas that equal to 6 rupees. Cost of 1 guva equal to 6 rupees. Next question. The cost of 9 mangoes is 45 rupees. Find the cost of 1 mango. Cost of 9 mangoes that equal to 45 rupees. Number of mangoes are 9. Cost of 1 mango that equal to 45 rupees divided by 9 that equal to 5 rupees. Next question. 4 boys can sit on one bench. How many benches are required for 36 benches? Total number of boys that equal to 36. Number of boys sit on one bench that equal to 4. Number of benches were required that equal to 36 divided by 4. We get 9 benches. Next question. The cost of 8 chocolates is 64. Find the cost of 1 chocolate. Cost of 8 chocolates that equal to 64. Number of chocolates that equal to 8. Cost of 1 chocolate that equal to 64 divided by 8 that equal to 8 rupees. Next question. 7 boys are to share 56 toffees. Find the share of each. Total number of boys that equal to 7. Number of toffees that equal to 56. Number of toffees each one get that equal to 56 divided by 7. Number of toffees 56 divided by number of buys that equal to 8 toffees. Next worksheet number 18 subtopic division word problems. First question how many tricycles can be made using 99 wheels? Total number of wheels that equal to 99. Number of wheels of tricycle that equal to 3. Number of tricycles can be made that equal to total number of wheels 99 divided by number of wheels of tricycle 3. So that equal to 33 tricycles can be made using 99 wheels. Next question. If we cut 45 meter ribbon into 9 pieces, what is the length of each piece? Total length of your ribbon that equal to 45 meters. Number of pieces that equal to 9. Length of each piece that equal to 45 meter divided by 9 pieces that equal to 5 meters. Length of each piece is 5 meters. Next question. How many 8's are there in 96? Here 96 divided by 8 that equal to 12. So, so 12 8's are there in 96. Next question. Out of 35 chocolates, if we give each child 3 chocolates, how many children will equally get? How many are left over? Total number of chocolates that equal to 35. Number of given chocolates that equal to 3. Number of chocolates each child get that equal to total chocolates divided by given chocolates 3. So that equal to 11. And number of chocolates left over that equal to, to 2. Next worksheet number 19. Subtopic division word problems. First question. The cost of 8 toys is 960. Find the cost of 1 tie. Cost of 8 toys that equal to 960 rupees. Number of toys that equal to 8. Cost of 1 tie that equal to cost of 8 toys 960 rupees divided by number of toys 8 that equal to 120 rupees. Next question. The price of one pen is 8 rupees. How many pens can be purchased for 728 rupees? Total amount that is equal to 728 rupees. Cost of one pen equal to 8 rupees. Number of pens purchased that equal to total amount 728 divided by cost of one pen that equal to 8. So that equal to 91 pence. Next question. The product of two numbers is 168. If one of them is 4, find the other number. The product of two numbers that equal to 168. One number is 4. The other number is 168 divided by 4 that equal to 42. Other number is 42. Next question. 225 school children are to be divided into 5 equal groups. How many children are there in each group? 
total number of school children that equal to 225 number of equal groups that equal to 5 number of children in each group that equal to 225 divided by 5 that equal to 45 children Next worksheet number 20, subtopic, division, word problems. First question, how many weeks are there in 365 days? How many days are left over? Total number of days, that is equal to 365. Number of days in a week, that is equal to 7. Number of weeks in 365 days, that is equal to 365 divided by 7, that is equal to 52 weeks. Number of days are left over, that is equal to 1 day. Next question, how many bouquets can be made from 340 flowers with 8 flowers in each bucket? How many flowers will be left over? Total number of flowers that equal to 340 flowers. Number of flowers in each bouquet that equal to 8. Number of bouquets can be made that equal to 340 divided by 8 that equal to 42 bouquets. Number of flowers left over that equal to four flowers next question if we plant seven saplings in each row how many rows can we plant with 170 saplings total number of saplings that equal to 170 number of rows that equal to 170 divided by divided by 7 that equal to 24 rows number of saplings left over that equal to 2 Next question, Ramu has 250 rupees on the occasion of his birthday. He wants to distribute pens to his friends, each 9 rupees. How many pens can he buy? How much money is left with him? Total amount had Ramu that equal to 250 rupees. Cost of one pen that equal to 9 rupees. Number of pens bought by Ramu that equal to 250 rupees divided by 9 that equal to 27 pens. Amount left with Ramu that equal to 7 rupees. Okay children, we will continue other topic with another video. Until then, take care of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.